welcome back to Derek Watches. I'm Derek. Today we have a very special video. I believe you already saw the title of the video. I will be installing a hand painted version of the Great Wave of Kanagawa dial in this very beautiful and elegant Seiko Sarb 033. I would like to give a very brief introduction of the Great Wave of Kanagawa. As known as the Great Wave or simply the Wave is a woodblock print by the Japanese ukiyo-e artist Hokusai. It was published sometime between the 1800s. It is Hokusai's most famous work and one of the most recognizable work of Japanese art in the world. And this is also my favorite art from Hokusai. For the first step, I need to strip down everything that includes the bracelet, the case back, the movement, so I can get to the dial. The two dial pins are held down by these two tiny screws. Finally we got to the dial and now we gonna remove all the parts from the dial. Here I'm using acetone. I will soak the back side of the dial in acetone for like 15-20 minutes. After 20 minutes, as you can see, the glue is pretty soft. I can scrape it off, so I can use my tweezer to punch the indices out. Now I need to do the same at the new dial. 
If you like the dial as is, you can order it from Lucius Atelier, not a sponsor. The link will be in the video description. On the new dial, I can feel the glue is much more softer, so I just punch it out without soaking it in acetone. I'm cutting all the dial pins off because this won't match the Sarb 033. Now I'm using the old dial as a template so I can glue the new dial onto it to drill out all the indices locating holes. This is the smallest drill bit I have. This is the 0.4 millimeter. As you can see, it's barely small enough to drill the in the C hole. Means a little bit larger, uh, but it will work. Now I'm demonstrating to drill two in the C holes. Was planning to use my Dremel tool to drill all these holes, but the smallest chuck will not hold this drill bit, so I have to use my hand drill. Turns out I drill 40.4 millimeter holes. It's very tedious work. If there is a next time, for sure I need to invest in better tools. As you can see, this is the date window. I just need to perforate it. The magic of video editing. Yeah, something like this. Sorry, I forgot the video how I did this. I just punch it out and use a tiny diamond file to deburr it. In this step, I will install all the dial parts onto the dial. The glue I'm using is called FiberFix. It's basically a UV glue. I just need to tack it a little bit and clean off the excess glue and hit it with UV lights for like 5 to 10 seconds and it will cure. Let's see that again. Relax, I won't make you watch like 11 of them. Now it's the date window, it's the same deal, just need to do it on four edges and make sure you don't leak through the middle, it would be ugly.
Again, sorry I forgot the video how I installed the chapter ring and the logo. But as you can see, the end result is super good. I'm very happy about it. Now I will install the 6 o'clock date wheel. Remove the rotor is not necessary just because I'm using this type of movement holder. If you like this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to get notification when I upload a new video. Thank you very much. This is the 6 o'clock date wheel donor watch. Reference number SRPC89. It's a very good looking watch. Back to the movement we are working on. The installation is just reverse. In this step, I will use dial dot to mount the dial.
In this step, we will install the handset. I forgot to show you need to advance the time till the date snap over to the next day that indicates 12 o'clock midnight. There is no special reason why I moved the hand away, just more space to work with. Now everything is ready, it's time to marry the movement to the case. Look at this movement, it's so gorgeous, I really like it. Before I close the case, I would like to give it a good clean. Hey, welcome back. Glad you made it. This should be a two-part video. In the first part is teaching how to mod a dial. And the second part is how to install a dial with dial dots. Installing a dial with dial dots is really not that uncommon or fragile. This is how we install a 3 o'clock crown position dial to a 4 o'clock crown position case or vice versa. 
After insulation, the dial will continuously push against the movement and the case, so it's quite rigid. This is definitely the most interesting mod I've ever done so far, and I know there will be people out there accusing me destroying a perfect watch. Don't you worry, I have a second dial, so I can restore the watch if I want to. This for me, it's those kind of step out your own comfort zone situation. I know there might be a 50-50 chance I destroy both dials and throw away $200 worth of dials in the trash can. But if I can pull this off, I can get a super unique piece and a very nice tutorial video for you guys. If you are not interested in do-it-yourself, you just want to buy a watch like this, I will never sell this first piece, but maybe I will make more. Write me an email, let's see what we can do about it, but I can guarantee you it will not be cheap. The email will be in the video description. If you are wondering what happened to the donor watch, this is what I did to it. I cut a big hole in the dial and installed the NH71 skeleton movement in the watch. It looks super cool. This is just one of my experiments. If you are interested, you can also write me an email. If you found this video is entertaining and educational, please like the video and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This will help out the channel a lot. There are more videos like this in my channel. Please take your time to watch them all. Thank you for your support. If you have any questions, comment, concern, or you want to order a watch just like this, please write me an email. It is contact at DerekWatches.com. This has been Derek from Derek Watches. I will see you next time. Bye.